Welcome back to Home 411 Show. This is Randall Winter with Randall Winter Construction. Hometown Station AM 1220 KHTS. Thanks again. You're going. Our guest coming up pretty soon is going to be Greg Smith from MD, Marty's Flooring. So he's got some really great information to disseminate today. But Donna, this is amazing, all this stuff that you're talking about. You're talking about outlets, and I know we're going to run out of time, so we're going to have to have you back. Thank you. Because your information is really, really valuable to all the homeowners. They should be getting this. And if they are smart, if they tell their friends, they can find out this information by going to hometownstation.com because it's streamed live and it's saved. So back to the outlets. Yes. Well, we can see with the infrared camera uh, how much heat transfer is going on at outlets, and that is a place where we do find energy leakage. And especially in walls where there is no insulation, it's also a, a real conduit for the air to move in and out. And you can sometimes go and put your hand against an outlet and feel air moving mm -hmm. through it. Uh, people used to think that the inside of a chase in a wall was dead air, that there was no activity going through. But what we do know is that there is air movement uh, in those walls. Um, and so what you want to do is have insulation in there. So if there isn't insulation, there are ways to address that. There are methods to put insulation in older walls uh, that do not currently have insulation. They do something called a drill, fill, plug mm -hmm. and patch and you can get insulation in there and talk about energy savings the modeled energy savings for that type of home fix uh, are tremendous so what is someone going to get if they're a homeowner and they have an older house they're going to call you out you're going to do all these tests how long does it take by the way it's usually six to eight hours depending on the size Pretty of the home then. it is it's very exhaustive and there have been on larger homes it's gone into several days um, but because we look at every aspect do complete measurements of every wall wall cavity windows um, we inspect from top to bottom underneath in the crawl space in the attic space um, and measure all the room volumes i mean it's a very comprehensive testing that we so do. So after you do all this testing, then you make recommendations for the homeowner and you tell them where they have some shortcomings and then they can fix it on their own. Do you have recommendations of people or do you have recommendations of um, ways they can do it where you can send them to websites how to do it themselves absolutely um we certainly do there are programs and rebates available for homeowners so they get money they for can fixing? get money back oh, if, if they want to do this the utilities through a program called energy upgrade california it's a statewide program through the california public utilities commission and it's administered here locally through southern california gas and southern california edison and um, if homeowners decide that they want to go down this path and do some energy retrofits to their homes, they can get up to $4,500 back. So they not only can save money on their electric bill, their gas bill, maybe even their water bill, yes. but they're going to get money back or tax credit or both? Both. Wow. You can get federal tra tax credits so for some of So those of you that are listening and paying attention and money is an object for you, then... You might want to tune into this one. Okay, Donna, that's great. What else can you say? Because we're going to be running out of time pretty sure soon. If they wanted to get a hold of you, that might be an interesting thing to present out there. Was there a phone number they can reach you on? Absolutely. 661-268-0198. They can also find us at softlyelectric.com. And that's S-A-U-F, as in Frank, L-E-Y.com. Okay, so those of you that were paying attention, here's a way to s take care of that home that has leaks. Um, and, you know, if you're like me, you want to know where you're spending your money, and this is a good way. I, it does cost a little bit of money. Why don't we just bring that up since it's it might be 
The, the assessment front. itself uh, is based on the square footage of the home and the number of combustion appliance zones. We didn't even get into that. The combustion safety is a whole other aspect of this. Is so when you tighten up a home and you have combustion appliances inside, you have, to have, fresh air you have to make sure that you have adequate ventilation for those uh, combustion appliances. So it's it's based on the square footage, and it can be anywhere from four hundred dollars on up uh, is the approximate cost. And the reports. Uh, that are, are given back to the homeowner are extremely valuable in understanding where their greatest energy losses are and where they might want to put um, their dollars towards these projects, no matter how they want to approach it. Whether I recommend a contractor or they decide to do it themselves. If they want to go through the rebate program, there's a whole other process for wow, that. That's great. Well, thank you, Donna Softly, for visiting with us. My it's pleasure. Been very informative. I know Greg has been very patient, but he said on the break how much he's learning. So that's great. Good. Thanks again. This is Randall Winter, your host for the Home 411 show here at Hometown Station AM 1220 KHTS.